For those of us interested in extraterrestrials, well, the past few years have been somewhat of a roller coaster ride. Now, back in 2017, the New York Times, they revealed that former Senator Harry Reid, well, he had secretly used $22 million to investigate unidentified foreign objects. Well, since then, many Navy pilots, they've come forward to report the UFO sightings that have increased the scrutiny that the uh, U.S. government hasn't been telling us everything. And now the truth is among us. In a new report posted to science website, The Debrief, from Leslie Keen and Ralph Blumenthal, well, that's the same team that broke the time story back in 2017. And the pair, they described the story of a defense intelligence officer who's turned into a whistleblower, and they've alleged that the American government is hiding classified evidence of intact and partially intact craft of non-human origin. That's right. Alex Jones ain't no crazy guy. He was way ahead of all of us. In other words, hold on to your tinfoil hat skids because it doesn't get much bigger than this. In fact, aliens, they're coming. They might have just done the whole pandemic to get us all, like, you know, in our houses before they told us the truth. It's happening. This is obviously a very different episode of Famous News, but something I'm pretty excited about. So buckle in. My name, of course, is Michael McCrudden. Wherever you're watching this video, be sure to give us a follow. Now let's get into it. Now the man at the center of this development is David Charles Grush. Now that's a man that you got to take seriously. Not only is he 36 year old combat veteran from Afghanistan, who was also a member of the Identified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force, the program run by the Office of Naval Intelligence to investigate UFO sightings from 2019 to 2021. But he also served on the task force as a representative of the National Reconnaissance Office, considered to be one of the big five of the U.S. intelligence agencies. Now, during his conversation with reporters, well, David would claim that the Pentagon, as well as other nations and defense contractors as well, well, they've all recovered fragments of exotic origin, materials that include intact and partially intact alien vehicles, some of which are being reverse engineered in an attempt to create weapons. Now, more than just that, well, they've also found themselves some dead pilots. Now, David isn't alone in these claims. I've been following Bob Lazar for more than a minute. I knew all this stuff. I've been studying it myself for years, but David's got friends who are backing him up. He's got a former colleague named Carl Nell, who's a retired army colonel who told the debrief. David's assertion concerning the existence of a terrestrial arms race occurring sub Rosa over the past 80 years, focused on reverse engineering technologies of unknown origin, is fundamentally correct, as is the indispute realization that at least some of these technologies of unknown origin derive from non human intelligence. Meanwhile, yet another intelligence officer, Jonathan Gray, well, they would also concur that these statements are the facts. They added, the non-human intelligence phenomenon is real. We are not alone. This is a global phenomenon, and yet a global solution continues to elude us. Now, an unclassified version of David's complaint shared with the debrief, it states that the extraterrestrial tech was withheld from Congress by the intelligence community so as to purposely thwart congressional oversight of the U.S. AP program. Now, an intelligence investigation has been launched in response to this whistleblower complaint. Now, David hopes that the end result will provide the necessary shock to wake people up and take this subject more seriously. Now, if all of this is true, and really, there's no reason to believe that it's not, well, this is a massive breakthrough in the world of UFO sightings. I mean, how is this not the biggest news story in the world right now? It was trending on Twitter for about an hour, but then just like everything alien-themed, it disappeared without a sign and uh, the mainstream news, they decided not to report on it. Our friends over at Barstool did, however, because, you know, you got to love these internet news outlets who ain't working for the man. Although they did sell to the big investors, so I guess they are. But yeah, you know what I mean? Maybe a few weeks, a few months from now, we might look back at this interview and recognize for what it is, a true game changer. I got a real good feeling that they're rolling out the red carpet and getting us ready to let us know, yeah, Roswell happens, Bob Lazar ain't lying, aliens have been coming around since the pyramids, and I think their first interview will probably be with Joe Rogan. I mean, if anyone, who deserves it? He's been wearing a tinfoil hat as long as anybody. Well, until more details are uncovered, keep, uh, keep tuned into famous news. I'm giving you guys more alien updates because I think that's the way things are moving. I think they're going to start telling us about aliens. I think we're going to get all the facts. And uh, what else do you want to know about? This is the most interesting thing I've ever heard of. My 
God. You know, we got flying cars coming. They're like, your, your technology is finally at a point where you guys can handle the truth. Plus with quarantine, they got us all living in our houses and you know, they're ready to unleash another madness on the people. All right, guys, I'm getting off topic, but I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in another video.